The pocketbook color is a e-reader first and foremost. That's all it really does is e-reading, audiobooks, and the like. But there is something that for the past few generations, pocketbook has been pushing, and it works really well. And that is that it has Scribble. So we're going to look at Scribble, and we're going to go ahead and click on something so we can show you exactly what kind of options we have. And because we only briefly touched on it in the review, now is the opportunity to go through every single one of these options because surprisingly there are a lot for a regular e-reader. Now because this isn't a Wacom note taking device, it doesn't matter if you use your fingertip or a capacitive stylus. And a capacitive stylus is just something like this that mimics your fingerprint, be it a piece of rubber or a piece of mesh metal or cloth or whatever the case may be. So we have some line thicknesses but you'll have to change them every single time because they don't have any pressure sensitivity. So you have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 respectively. They're about that thick each time. We do have colors as well so we'll just show you all the different colors you can choose here. So you have red, you have blue, Green, pink, light blue, and yellow. So you also have white, but white is basically just your eraser. So out of all the line thicknesses you have, you do have a choice of five, but you only have the one choice of eraser, and that is because they don't really push note taking on this device to the extent that we've seen in all the note taking tablets that have come out in the with the ink screens in the past few years so they naturally don't focus on it that much so if we write my name and we click on the text bubble and then it'll show up there you can change the color as well to any color you want from the palette and you can change all of what you want it to look like so you can can change configure the font style and there are a lot of them you can change the boldness italicize or bold italicize and you can choose the font size as well and then once you press ok everything changes right there and you can move this around of course as well like so you can expand it as well and write more things if you want you can actually go back and forward as well and you can delete you can delete the entire file and when you go back you see that all of your scribbles are here so this is one we did for the review video it says pocketbook color goodie reader 2020 now that is pr not as extensive of note-taking devices that run wacom but that's a lot of stuff that they have put into an e-ink device that is primarily for e-reading but there's one more thing because this is actually running color that they have implemented and you'll see that it is called coloring and this is in between all the applications like Klondike and everything and what this is is actually like faux paint and what I mean by that is that it's not a fully extensive paint application but there are some things you can do for example we'll choose this snowman now now you'll see that it's roughly the same top banner but a couple things have changed you have a paint bucket and what this paint bucket does is allow you to actually drop all the colors you want and fill the borders. And why you want to do that is because it's obviously hard to color everything in with a very thin line, especially with capacitive, because capacitive is not that exact. And this doesn't have a note taking layer. So this is kind of cool because you're now able to have your children get in on this and younger people or you yourself if you want to just start drawing stuff and you can have some fun with it and actually tap things like that and choose the background light blue sky like so so this is quite nice and you have the spray can as well now why they don't bundle all these under the same note taking app i'm not sure because the spray can is actually really cool so you can actually do some dusting like that and the longer you hold obviously the the more it's going to spray see so you can do some shading it's actually quite amazing the amount of accuracy they pump into this and is remember this is just primarily a regular e-reader snowy day there look at that boom that's my masterpiece we also have the same line thicknesses as you had before five of them and your eraser tool and when you use eraser tool on here you can see it scribbles out a segmented area in which case you can just go back use your paint bucket choose from your color palette 
like so choose the paint bucket and fill it back in. So there's a decent amount of customization with this and there are tons of preloaded images here. There's city roads, chairs, robots, squirrels, candles, dragons, tons of stuff here. There's quite a few, I haven't counted them out, but there's probably 30 plus different things you can work with here. So surprisingly, because this is an e-reader first and foremost, they have gone the extra mile to give you things like scribble and coloring. We have seen scribble in the past couple generations of devices, but we've never seen coloring before because we've never been able to take advantage of color. Now, again, if you're just joining us and fast forwarding, this is a capacitive stylus. It doesn't work with Wacom, so you'll have to use these kind of styluses on the screen. If you guys want to hear any other videos on this or see any other comparisons, let us know. For a note-taking wrap-up on the Pocketbook Color, this is Peter.